How much is your data worth? How much is your identity worth? How much is your privacy worth? Because guess what? The United States government believes that your personal information, your social security number, your email, your phone number, your address is worth merely $358. To me, that's absurd. I mean, this is crazy. That was the recent handout or potential settlement in the Yahoo breach that happened many, many years ago. They are saying that Yahoo will potentially pay up to $358 per person that was breached. And the logic is that that would cover approximately two years of credit monitoring. Now, hmm, if my personal data gets compromised, I'm gonna have to monitor my credit for the rest of my life. I'm gonna have to always be cautious because once my personal data is stolen, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. So to me, this is about the biggest slap in the face that the United States government can do to consumers is going in and saying, you know something? Yahoo and other big tech, they're screwing up. They're not protecting your data. They're not protecting your information. And all we're gonna do is make them pay up to two years of credit monitoring. That is disgraceful. That is where we need to step up and we need to start demanding that our privacy is properly protected. We need to do what the European Union did with GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation, where there are significant, significant fines to companies that don't protect our data. $358 or two years of credit monitoring is a slap in the face to consumers and the bottom line to you you have to protect your own information because big tech and the government is not going to do it for you.